Come on, sing louder. Sing louder. Worship him, worship him, lift up your voices and worship him now. Just begin to pray, begin to pray, give him praise, give him praise, give him worship. He's worth of all the praise, he's worth of all the glory. He's the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Worth of all the praise. Come on, worship him, somebody. Come on, worship him, worship him. Render him shatter up our sinterry and come on worship him. He's wide over the praise, wide over the glory. He is the King of Kings, the King of Glory, the one which was and is and is to come, the ancient of days. He is seated upon the throne. He reigneth from heaven above. Come on, worship him, worship him, worship him. Come on, come on, come on, worship him. You can do better than that. Come on, give him the worship. He's worth over the praise. Loto Yoroga Sika Tayara Baseke Ribaba Sendere Oshata La Sierra Ta La Toyoroga Sika La Gaseka Tayara Baseke Sodika Ulele Tiara Torigata La Iboto Yoroga Sika La Gaseka Tayara Baseke Ripa Sendere Oshata La Tiara Ta La Gaseka Tayara Baseke Sodika Ulele Tiara Torigata La Gaseka Tayara Baseke Ripa Sendere Oshata La Tiara Ta Leto Yoroga Sika La gasika ta yara baseke, la iboto yoro gasika, la gasika ta yara baseke, leto yoro gasika ta yara baseke, riba basendere woshata, la tiara ta, la to yoro gasika, la gasika ta yara baseke, zodi kaulele tiara tori gata, la iboto yoro gasika ta yara baseke, riba basendere woshata, la tiara ta, la to yoro gasika, la gasika ta yara baseke, loto yoro gasika ta yara baseke, riba basendere we worship amen in jesus name we worship amen say lord lord i love you i love you say lord lord there's no one there's no one like you like you Come on, sing out. You drive me crazy. Can't stop thinking about you. Oh, Jesus. 
Tell him, tell him. You don't look crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, somebody. Somebody shout! Ricotta hey. Vadushele Coprania. I receive. Today is your day. Oh, yes, I receive. I said today is your day. I receive. Something big is about to happen in your life today. I receive. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. Today, today is your day. Is your day. Something big. Something big. Something big. Something big. Who happened in life today? Come on, come on, give them high five. 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 I'm moving from glory. <laughs> hey. Hey. Tell your neighbor, hey. Hey. Neighbor, hey. One more time, say neighbor. Neighbor. Hey. Hey. Yes. From grace. Are you here? We are here, Daddy. Is your neighbor here? Yes. Ask them, are you here, neighbor? Are you here, neighbor? What did they say? They said yes. They said they are here? Yes. Are you sure? Sometimes. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> I decree and I declare. I receive. Today is your day. I receive. Today is the day of your miracle. I receive. Today you'll never be the same again. I receive. Are you here, somebody? Yes. Adelaide, 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 are you there, Adelaide? <laughs> wow. You are very welcome, Adelaide. <laughs> My goodness, I see a big church in Adelaide. I see a big church in Adelaide. I see a big church in Adelaide. <laughs> Adelaide, just lift up your hands, Adelaide. Lift up your hands. Adelaide, say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Today. Today is my day. I will never be the same again. I will never, 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 never. I will never, 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 never 
Ah, you'll never be the same, Adelaide, because today is your day. The day of your miracle is today. I want like to welcome those who have connected live from across Australia, from across the Asia Pacific region, all the way from Africa, from America. You have connected live now. I want to assure you something God is in this place, God is where you are. There's no barrier in the spirit. There's no limitation. And today, your life will never be the same. The power of God is going to touch you. And your life is going to change. So thank you so much for connecting live. I'm telling you, today is a new day. Because God is going to do a new thing today in your life. So thank you so much for connecting live. Wherever you are. Wherever you're watching us from. Wherever I've connected from. Your life will never be the same. Because God is going to touch your life. God is going to change your story. From failure to success. From defeat. Someone who has been defeated. Someone who is a success. I'm talking about absolute success. From defeat to victory. Today is your day. Receive your miracle. Receive. Woo. Are you here? We are here daddy. Are you here? We are here daddy. I feel like dancing again. I oh, didn't see yes, you dancing. Oh yes, 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 yes. I was sitting there, I'm looking at you, I'm like, what kind of people are these? They can't, they can't even dance. Come on. Are you here, somebody? We are here, Daddy. Rico Fatushe de Coprania. I receive. Zeteria Katore Mosanta Yabai. I receive. Whatsoever has been fighting you. Yes. Today. Yes. Today. Oh, yes. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive. Whatsoever was limiting your life. Yes. Today. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive. I decree and I declare. I receive. Today your life should go higher. I receive. Your life should go higher. I receive. Your life should go higher. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Am I talking to somebody right? Yes, daddy. My secretary Ando, Rico Patosha Taramakaya, La Parabacatoria Masuko, Romato Marusha Copania Sakahato, Rico Taya Masia Hetayaka, Iso Hesolito Montele Shetaria Mando, Riba Secretary Ama. Receive your miracle. 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 Receive it. Hey. Hey. Ha ha. Woo. Woo. Are you here? We are here, Daddy. My, 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 my. Yes, yes, yes. The devil is in trouble today. Oh, yes. Are you here? We are here. Because today yes. is a day of the mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. 
Say neighbor. Neighbor. Today. Today. Is the day. Is the day. Of the. Of the. Ah. Uh, I receive. <laughs> yes. Say rabba. 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 Rabba anointing. Rabba anointing. Rabba anointing. Rabba anointing. Yes. So I'm going higher. I'm going higher. Say I'm going higher. I'm going higher. I'm going higher. I'm going higher. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Today. Today. Is the last day. Is the last day. You see me. You see me. In this level in, of glory. In this level of glory. By the end of the service. By the end of the service. I rubber. I rubber. I rubber. I rubber. I rubber. I rubber. Receive it. Receive. <laughs> Woo! My goodness. I just feel like I need to do something now. Oh, yes. Do something, Daddy. Can I do it? Do something. Can I do it? Nasty. The devil is in trouble. Oh, yes. Can I do it? Do it, Daddy. Ah! Ah! Hey, hey, hey. Woo! Woo! Hey. Yeah, they, they, you know, they, uh, come here. Rico Savatu Jericho Pine. I receive. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Today. Today. I'm not going home the same. I'm not going home the same. My life is changing. It's changing. Pray, 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 pray. Let the yoga zika ta yarabu zike ripa zinini wushata. La gazika ta yarabu zike let the yoga zika. La gazika ta yarabu zike ripa zinini wushata. La tiere to lo to yoga zika la gazika ta yarabu zike. La ibo to yoga zika ta yarabu zike ripa zinini wushata. La tiere to lo to yoga zika la gazika ta yarabu zike ripa zinini wushata. La ziara ta la to yoga zika la gazika ta yarabu zike la ibo to yoga zika ta yarabu zike ripa zinini wushata. La ziara ta la to yoga zika la gazika ta yarabu zike zodika. Let the Aradori get higher, Abaseke. Ripa zendere woshata. La sierete leto yoroga zika. La gazika tayar Abaseke. La iboto yoroga zika tayar Abaseke. Ripa zendere woshata. La sierete leto yoroga zika. La gazika tayar Abaseke. Leto yoroga zika. La iboto yoroga zika. La gazika tayar Abaseke. Zodi kaule let the Aradori get tayar Abaseke. Ripa zendere woshata. La sierete leto you are the Lord of Lords. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Every knee shall bow before you. Every tongue shall confess. That Jesus, you are Lord. Amen. Come on, you are the King of Kings. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end, every knee shall bow before you, every tongue shall confess that Jesus, you are Lord. Amen. Come on, sing hallelujah. Singing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. 
hallelujah singing hallelujah amen one more time come on sing hallelujah singing hallelujah singing hallelujah singing hallelujah amen singing hallelujah singing hallelujah singing hallelujah amen just lift up your hands everyone lift up your hands in the realm of the spirit i am seeing something that looks like a weather phenomenon like a dark cloud that was hovering above your life it's just been cleared right now. I receive. I see now the sun shining. I receive. Very bright over your life. I receive. Receive it. I receive. Receive it. I receive. Receive it. I receive. Receive it. I receive. It's time for your miracle. Time for your healing. Pardon? Time for your healing. Thank you. Mm? What happens to your leg? I have pain and tingling and numbing and throbbing in my leg. So pain, numbing, tingling, throbbing? Yes. Down your leg? Yes. How long has it been? It's been an off, and, off and on for several years. For several years? Yes. Several years? Yes. Many. Many years. Can you tune the voice in my mic? I think you have changed something in my mic. So, that has been on and off for many years? Yes. How are you going to know that God has healed you today? How will I know? Yes. Because I won't have that feeling anymore. You won't have that feeling anymore? Yes. Can you feel it now as I'm talking to you? What are you feeling? Yes. As I'm talking to you, you are feeling it now? It's very mild at the moment as we talk. It's mild, but you can still feel something there. Yes, yes. And when it's Absolutely. not there, you're going to know that now I am healed. Yes. Amen. Okay. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Every knee shall bow before you. Every tongue shall confess. That Jesus, you are Lord. Amen. You see, Jesus, when he heals people, yes. he used to say, rise up and walk. Now, our thinking is he meant someone should stand up and just go home. No, it wasn't that. What he was saying was, do what you could not do before. If you could not walk before, I want you to stand up and walk around. The Greek word there is peripatu, which means walk around, walk about. Show what you could not do before. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. Is that making sense? Yes, daddy. So I used to say, rise up and walk. walk. That means walk around. Show what you could not do before. Do it now. Can we see? Do it now. There has to be evidence the person is healed. I don't know whether you're hearing me at all. We hear you, Daddy. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, Daddy. Are you hearing me, somebody? We are hearing, Daddy. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, Daddy. There has to be evidence. Oh, yes. Someone has been what? Healed. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, Daddy. It's your time. Thank you. It's your day. Thank you. It's your season. 
is your hour. Amen. Now, I command everything that's not of God in your body to check out. Everything from your hair to your toes. Everything that's not of God in this body. I band you together in one bundle and I command you leave. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, loose and go. This is no longer your temple. I decree from today, this is no longer your temple. This is the house of God. I sanctify this body today. Jesus, mighty name. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let the power flow in this body from the hair to the toes. Now. Two. Three. That's it. It's leaving you now. It's leaving you now. It's leaving you now. It's leaving you now. It's going. Take it. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are free. Yo. Rise up and walk. I want you to run around. Run. Run. Yes. Run. Yes, yes. Run. Put your hands for run. Jesus, somebody. Run. Run. Put your hands together for run. Jesus, somebody. <laughs> Look somebody at that. Somebody shout. Hey. Look at that, somebody. Look at that. Look at that. Hey. Put your How hands are you together feeling for now? Jesus, somebody. Eh? Yeah? Great. You're feeling great. Yes, I'm feeling You're feeling great. I'm feeling great. Wow. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody shout! Hey! It is done. Thank you. Amen. It is done. Thank it will never you. come Amen. again. It is done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I receive. I receive. I receive. Today is your day. I receive. It doesn't matter what you've been going through. I receive. Today is your day. I receive. You will never be the same again. I receive. I said you will never be the same again. I receive. Because today is your I day. Receive it. I receive. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. How many were here on Friday? You were here on Friday. What's happening to my mic today? James, what have you changed from my mic? Oh, you've changed the speaker. Something has changed. You were here on Friday. Yes, Dad. Let me see your hands. 
Wow. I think we should do it again. Oh, yes. Are you sure? Yes. Should do it again. We do it again. <laughs> okay, we will. You were here on Friday. Yes, I was. And I prophesied to you on Friday. Yeah. What was the prophecy? Um, that I will break the record for my HSC exams next Thursday. You are pre yeah. you're preparing. The, the prophecy was in, the Lord wanted me to pray for academics. Yes, yeah, So when you came, you talked about what you need to get in order to, yeah. to get into law. Yeah. So yeah, I needed um, I need 96 up ATA. You need 96 or better. Yeah, above, yeah. No, that's already done. It was done on Friday. Yeah. I'm just saying it for the sake of those who, who are not here. Now you've come with your brothers. And you both play? Yeah, we both play. Uh, is it rugby? Oh, rugby, yeah, yeah. You both play rugby. Yeah. So what do you want? How far do you want to go? Uh, as far as we can. <laughs> What's the highest level for rugby? Uh, so the highest level is you play for Australia. Underneath it, you play for clubs. What clubs? What clubs are there? Rooster. So Rooster is rugby. You may I don't understand this stuff. I only know football. But when I came here, I said the football. They said, no, 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 no. Soccer. Football is other one. I said, no, that's a handball. They said, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I gave up on trying to understand which one. They said, no, that one is NRL. And then they said, no, no, that's AFL. That's Rugby Union. I'm like, which is which? Just choose one name, that's all. <laughs> so Rugby, the highest is playing for Australia. And then uh, there's Rooster, there's what other teams? Yeah, Bulldogs, Bulldogs <laughs> Paramata, <laughs> the Cowboys. Yes, is. is that yeah. rugby? Yeah, that's rugby league. So that's the one. Yeah. So at what level are you now? Um, the level just before ISP Cup. So you are at the level just before ISP Cup? No, before NRL. Oh, before NRL. Yeah. In our, uh, also, that's National Rugby League. Yeah, so you're just a level before. Yeah. How are you going to know that God has really moved you? Uh, when we get there, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> are you here? We are here, Daddy. I, I, I want to pray for you. Okay. I want to release God's favor and the grace. Mm -hmm. Upon your life. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm just God's grace and favor upon your life. So that when you how do you how, how do you hold it? <laughs> you hold it this way. Yeah, like that. Aha. Uh -huh. When you hold it that way, when you are running, no one should be able to hold you. Amen. <laughs> are you hearing me? I hear you. You should be slippery. Like uh, the eels. Yeah. <coughs> huh? Yes. When they make a war against you, when you hit them, they should scatter. <laughs> Amen. You see, I watch. I watch, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they make wars, eh? Yeah. And then they try to grab you. I want to pray for you today. Releasing the grace of God, favor upon your lives, so that you should go very far. Amen. Are you hearing me? I want you to, your names to be known in the whole of Australia. Amen. God told Abraham, I'll make your name great. 
Okay? I'll make your name what? Great. Great. So I want today to pray for you so that my God should make your names great. Are you hearing me? Yes. Uh -huh. So when your name has been great and you become famous, I want you to do me one favor. Make Jesus famous. Amen. Amen. Do you understand me? Yes. Don't behave like the other ones. Be exemplar. I want you to be ambassadors of Streams International everywhere you go. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. I want you to be my ambassadors. When okay. people see you, they should see me in you. Amen. Okay? Okay. Because today God is changing your story. Praise God. God is rewriting your story. Amen. Today. First God anointing oil. Give me your hands. Come together. When you touch the ball, it will not fall off your hands. Amen. I prophesy today. When you touch it, not fall off your hands. I prophesy today. When you take the ball and you start running, no one will be able to hold you. Amen. You are going to be slippery like an eel. You are going to go through walls. Where they mount to stop, you are going to go through them. But the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, God will lift you up and he will lift you high until your names are known in this country. Amen. Until you represent your nation. Are you hearing me? Yes, and that time, make the name of Jesus great. Amen. Holy Ghost. Touch the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release the anointing upon him today. Jesus, my name. I protect you from every injury. In the name of Jesus Christ. I fortify you today. Against every injury. In Jesus, my name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be fortified today. In Jesus name. Be fortified today. In Jesus name. You shall be strong like iron. Anyone who bumps in you, they will feel the pain as if they hit an iron bar. In Jesus' mighty name. It is done. Bring the power of God to touch you today. Depression upon your life. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm breaking one. Depression. Upon Depression yes. upon your life. Amen. You are very good at hiding your depression. People don't know. Yes. True. Huh? Yes. Yeah, very good at hiding it. People don't know that you are depressed. Yes. But today God is setting you free.
Adelaide, are you there? Adelaide? <laughs> Today is your day, Adelaide. It's time to go now. Okay. I, feel, I feel light. You feel light? Yes. Time to let her go. This is not your temple. This is not your house. We are not allowed in this house. Go. <laughs> you are free. You are free. Say Jesus. Jesus. That's my boss. <laughs> I hear somebody. We are here, Daddy. Wow. Say wow. Wow. Say wow. Wow. I think this weekend you have had too much of me. No, Daddy. Huh? No, Daddy. Imagine Friday, yesterday. Today, hey, this is too much. We love you, Daddy. Tomorrow again. You want me to be here every day? We need you to be here, Daddy. We shall have a diplomatic service tomorrow. Worship team, take your seats for a moment. Do you have your documents? I'm sensing a strong anointing for documents now. Now as I'm speaking. Do you have your documents? Do you have your resume? If you're looking for a job, do you have your resume? Do you have your documents? You have your documents. Rise on your feet. You have applied for something, you are looking for something, you have applied for something, rise up on your feet. You've got your CV on your phone, wherever it is, electronic, in a USB, wherever you've got your documents. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord. I receive, I receive favor. favor. Over my documents. Over my document. In the name of Jesus. 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 I receive. I receive. Favor. Favor. Over my documents. Over my document. In Jesus' name. Say, oh Lord, wherever my documents will go, they will not be put. Will not be put. Under other documents. Under other documents. In Jesus' name. 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 When I apply. When I apply. 
for a job. For a job. I'll be given a job. I will be given a job. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Whatsoever I apply for, whatsoever I apply for, I'll be given. I'll be given in the name of Jesus. 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 Say, I'm coming back. I'm coming back with a testimony. With a testimony. It is done. I receive. What have you got here? You've got your resume. What kind of a job are you looking for? I want to go back to tourism. You want to work in the tourism industry? I want to go back to tourism. You want to go back to tourism? That's where you've got your qualifications. Ah, diploma in hospitality and tourism. change your story you'll never be the same again where they rejected you they are going to accept you this time around where they said no they will say yes That one is done. You are coming back with a testimony. I said you are coming back with a testimony. Are you here? We are here, Daddy. Are you sure? Yes, Daddy. testimonies today so quickly take the testimonies and then I'll go into the word a lot of things to do today so we have to be fast
sister, quickly tell us your name, where are you coming from, and share your testimony with your husband. My name is Volonika Bemadhau, and originally I'm from Togo. I live in New Zealand, and then we moved here, and we are in Liverpool. Stay in Liverpool. Anyone from Liverpool here? Okay. Okay, continue with your testimony. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I, I just praise the Lord for everything that he's done for me and my children. Um, this is our fourth Sunday here at this church. It's your fourth Sunday yes. in this church? Yes. Okay. Uh, we moved from New Zealand to Melbourne and we moved here in 2015 because of this, my boys, they wanted to play here in Sydney. And we've been standing, believing God for not what happened today, for them to get up there in rugby and some other things too. Also my, uh, my daughter's education as well. And um, we moved, we came here and then a few churches. And the reason why we moved because we, um, we didn't receive what we were supposed to like, spiritual work with God. And then the last church we were at, um, we at towards the end of last month, I think, we were praying to God for a new church. Because I believe that we need to feed our spirit the whole reason why we got to church. And then um, my cousin, through Langi, um, he was talking to Langi. She was talking to Langi and she told me about this church. At the same time, we, um, we struggle and we think in God, uh, we've been standing, we've been here three years in Sydney. For three years and nothing is happening. But I think for his grace that he kept us together. And and hold us and help us to stand strong. Even though the struggle. So we start coming to church. Uh, the first Sunday and the following Sunday. Um, I got an email from their manager. So you came the first Sunday? Yeah. And the and then playing with my microphone last night. Sunday, it was Thursday that I, I the, the manager, their manager wrote to me and I opened my mail on Saturday to work. and there was a, he said this opportunity for the boys and we have to talk about it if it's, we want it, it's in the country uh, and then we went that Sunday afternoon and talked and met with her and she uh, showed everything the money and kind of work they have they have to work for the club in their in their town to, to go from one right into students and they and as well play for for their rugby country club 
it's not first grade, but it's the, but the B is good. And then I, uh, I, I couldn't explain how I felt like I just jumped. I think that there's something that he finally, uh, you know, answered. I, uh, and then that last Saturday, then we went to sign the contract. It's for three wow. years. For three years, and they add extra to it, like with a house for free. It's part of a prayer to God. Free house. Yes, for three years. And some extra on top, and they get to go uh, train two days with Canberra Raiders uh, preseason, as well as working full time for the club to promote rugby to the students. Here. Wow. So that was just two Sundays being here. Yes, yes, it was very quick, and I, I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and I've been laughing ever since then, and my voice. <laughs> Your voice is gone for laughing. It was the very first time I. Finally wow. Laughed. Let me hear from the boys. How how, how does it feel now? Uh, exciting. Huh? Yeah, exciting. How long have you been trying to get something that you can believe in more? Um, yeah, for a while. For a while? Yeah. Probably like two years. For about three years? Wow. Wow. Can I prophesy? Prophesy, daddy. So for three years, you've been trying to get something tangible. Yeah. And then... Two weeks you come here, you get a miracle like that. Receive your miracle. I receive. Receive your own miracle. I receive. Receive your miracle. I receive. Adelaide. Receive your miracle now. Adelaide, receive your miracle. I decree and declare. Let your life change in Adelaide. Let your life change in Jesus' name. Whatsoever I've been waiting for, receive it in Jesus' name. Ah, it is done. Okay. Now, I'm seeing three months in the spirit. When you start three months, I said what? Yeah, I will see. In a three months' time, we are coming back here for a bigger testimony. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. You need to be counting the number of months. I said how many? Congratulations. It is done. It is done. Put your hands for Jesus, somebody. Brother, quickly tell us your name, where you're coming from, and share your testimony with the people of God in the house of the Lord. My name is Damasen, and I'm from uh, Hambush Road, that's down the road, not far from here. I have been here since uh, before the um, conference was begun. I came here and um, Papa, he was saying the people, they want to ask something. And I said, it's my business. My background is a business back home. And um, I remember the day a uh, major one, he was online the day of the conference. And then he asked, I was the one. And he asked, I said, I need my business to be back. That's it, it was the day. And then, after a while, I was keep, keep coming here and, and pray with the others. Then, Papa, you went to um, a 
I think South Africa for prayer. The day he was in line, he was here, but he was not here physically. He was in South Africa, I think, for prayer. Before you went, you said you're going to pray for everybody here who was asking something for his life. And then you appear through the um, um, online. You said, receive your miracle for the business you was asking for. You didn't say my name, but uh, I was here. And I said, I received. That day, I was with my wife here. I went down here. This business I was looking, actually not myself, but my wife. I was looking for business for five years. So I've been looking for a business for five years. Yes. And this business, we didn't get the, the owner, which means the company. The day you send us the miracle, which we received, we walked down here. Then the, it's here, the company, it's the Judy. We enter in the shop. The day we meet the person which my wife was looking for for that five years. So for five years we've been trying to get the owner of this business yes. to talk to him. Yes. But on that day after the declaration, yes. you went there with your wife. Yes. And then my wife, she said, wow. Actually, I was asking the business so and then i asked her who's the owner of the business she said it's me jiso that is the name and then he said what are you looking for i said i was looking for this business to find you the person for five years myself between my wife and she said that's me and i said can I have a talk with you? She said, yes. We go just in her office. And she said, what do you want to offer? And I said, I need it to be a partnership. With you. So she said, I can send Africa, whatever. The way. She said, I never do for anybody. But I accept you. And the amazing thing is, even here, I have the contract. I got the contract even before I pay the money he asked for. This is the contract. So, How much money was he asking for? 100000 So they were asking for $100,000. Yes. And then, and then they gave you the contract before uh, you paid that money. Yes. She said, there's no one who will take this business. Everywhere you want to take this business in the whole world. I said, wow, actually I was in shock. Because I couldn't believe that will happen. The person was looking for five years for the same business. And then after I received your miracle with my wife here, the same day we go down. The second day, he said, come and sign the contract. Look, the signature, Papa, my signature and her signature. It's a big company. And this company is in Korea, not here even. Come on, somebody. Put your hands together for Jesus, somebody. Go to the camera. Let, show, the, show the signatures on the camera. This one coming. Then the Papa problem was the one. As you see, she asked 100,000. I didn't have that amount of time. But she keeps saying, I'm waiting for you until you get the money and come to me. If tomorrow I get it, the business is mine. If whatever God willing, 
up to you, Father. Can I do something? Do something, Daddy. So for five years, yes. they have been trying to get this business. Yes. It wasn't working. No. Now that day you leave church after the declaration. Yes. I got this person. Even to found the, the, this person, the owner, there's no one can buy. It's impossible to get. It was a miracle actually that day. Can I decrease something? Decrease something, Daddy. Whatsoever I've been looking for a long time. Yes. Whether five years, four years, yes. three years, two years, twelve months. Receive it in Jesus' I name. Receive. Ah. Ah. Hey. Hey. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Hey. Hey. Imagine looking for a business for five years. He comes to church with a wife. And then I say, receive your what? Your miracle. And then they go to the shop. They find the owner that day. And the owner says, you can have the business. Curses come next tomorrow. Sign what? Contract. Ah, you're not hearing me. We're following that where have you seen someone signing a contract for a business without paying? This business belongs to him without paying for it. And this is a multi-million dollar business. Receive your own in Jesus' name. Receive. Uh -huh, you're not hearing me. I receive. Are you hearing me? Yes, Daddy. We do things upside down. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, Daddy. You hear so many testimonies, people getting jobs without an interview. That's us. Say, that's us. That's us. Say, that's us. That's us. We are different. From them. Are you here? So you need the, how much do you need? 100,000. Only? And not even this Australia, the whole Australia, whatever any state, it means nobody can have that product without me. She said that. Africa, whatever I want. Exclusive supply. Exclusive. Not inclusive, but what? Exclusive. Exclusive. Mm, sure. It says what? Ex exclusive supply. It's exclusive. Only for you. That's all. Only for you. That's all. Say only for me. Only for me. Say only for me. Only for me. Receive your special I miracle. Receive. A miracle only for you. Receive it. I receive. Receive it. I receive. What has never been done for anybody else? Yes. Let it be done for you. I receive. Rabakati Heso Belushel Kopran. So we need the one hundred thousand. Okay. Holy Ghost. We need one hundred thousand. I open your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break every barrier in your life. Every door that was closed, I open it today. I release one hundred thousand dollars in your life. In Jesus' name, take it. Holy Ghost. It 
it's done. I told you, we don't attract millionaires. Oh, yes. We produce millionaires. Oh, yes. It's going to get very crazy very soon in this place. Um, I'll create a millionaire corner where the whole road will be full of millionaires. I receive. We are going to be the richest church. Oh, yes. <laughs> are you here? We are here, Daddy. Are you here? We are here, Daddy. Say, that's me. That's me. Are you hearing me? We hear you, Daddy. Are you hearing me? We hear you, Daddy. I'm prophesying, oh. I receive you. <laughs> Are you hearing me? We hear you, Daddy. Yeah, we don't attract. We what? We, we produce. produce. Amen. The most unlikely people that the world never thought they would become millionaires. Sister, quickly tell us your name, where you're coming from, and tell us your testimony, please. My name is Lenel. I come from Bangsdown, Sydney. Um, my testimony goes like this. Um, before the women's conference this year, my um, niece was shot in New Zealand four times and um, her husband was dead in the scene. And I came to Papa and asked him, I don't want to see my niece die because I don't want to miss the conference. And I thank God that my niece, she is okay. She's out of the hospital with the love and grace of God. And I thank you, Papa, for your prayer. The um, court case is still ongoing and I still want to pray for that, but I just thankful to God that she's alive. And, um, Second one, it's my daughter. Wait a minute. So your niece and her husband were shot. Yes. And the husband was dead. The husband was killed on the spot. Yes. Okay. And your niece was shot how many times? Four times. Where? One on the head, one in the back, and one. One on the head, one in the back here, and two on the hands. But um, the doctor don't know how to. So, so you came yes. to see me one on one? Yes, before the women's conference. That was before the women's conference. Yes, it happened that time. I didn't want to go for someone die. And you were saying at that point she was in a coma. Was she in a coma? Yes. She was in a coma. Yes. The doctor say they can't pull out the bullet, she could die or brain damage. But now, with the prayer that I was asking you, that she's alive. She's alive. Yes, she's out of the hospital. Out, out of the hospital. Yes, she's out of the hospital a few months since that time. Until now, maybe four or five months. Wow. But without the grace of God, she could die. But as I say to huh. you, I don't want to go. Say wow. 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 Say wow. Wow. Four bullets. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. Four bullets. Yes. In the head mm -hmm. and in the back. Yes. She was in a coma. When she came to tell Marcia, she was preparing to go for the funeral. That's right. I don't want yeah. She said, Papa, I don't want to go for the funeral. I said, no, 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 no. Our God. Oh, yes. Say, our God. Our God. Say, our God. Our God. is a miracle-working God. He's a miracle-working God. Where it was impossible, where it is impossible, he makes it possible. He make it possible. Receive your miracle. I receive. Receive your breakthrough. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Where it was impossible, yes, I prophesy to you. I receive. It is going to be possible. I receive. Where they said you are not going to make it, I yes. prophesy to you. You are going to make it. I receive. You are going to make it. I receive. I said you are going to make it. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Wow. Thank you, Daddy. You've got another one. Um, yes, it's um, my son, my eldest son, and my daughter. They moved to Brisbane. I ask you for prayer. 
Because they've been there for oh, six months. They've been there for six. They moved yes. to Brisbane. Yes. Your eldest son and his wife. Yes. So they've been there for six months. And no job. No nothing. job. Nothing. Nothing at all. And then you came to see me one yes, on one. Yes. And you pray and I ask for prayer. And now she works in the Centrelink. My daughter. And my son-in-law, he works in the government for helping the So young. both of them got yes, jobs. for the government. For the government. Yes, they both. Ha-ha, <laughs> received your miracle. Yes. Woo! Say, woo! Woo! Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Hey. Hey. And uh, my um, other son-in-law, he's a Fijian. Last two weeks, he received his permanent resident. But after five months, he never worked. There's no job or nothing. But now he got his permanent resident, but he just looked for a job. But thank you for all your prayers. And I know today God opened my life and my family. Next time for a testimony, we a big one. This is the first time I ever done a testimony after one year. Because the enemy wanted me to shut my mouth, but today I can't shut my mouth. And I thank God for it. Thank you, Baba, for all your prayers. Thank you. <laughs> Two jobs in the government. How many of you want government jobs? You really, really, really want government jobs. Let me see your hands. You want government jobs. Are you sure? Are you sure? Rise on your feet. Just stand up. You want government jobs. Where there is no position. Yes. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I create a position for you. I receive. I said I create a position for you. I receive. In the name of Jesus Christ. I receive. When they are looking for one person, yes. I decree and I declare. I receive. That one person is going to be you. I receive. It's going to be you. I receive. It's going to be you. I receive. Adelaide is going to be you. I receive. We are talking about government what? Jobs. Receive it. I receive. Receive it. I receive. Receive it. I receive. <laughs> you are coming back with a testimony. It is done. You are happy. Yes, I am happy. I just thank you to God for all the praise you've done for me and my family. I'm happy. You're happy. May God give you more testimonies. More testimonies to follow. In Jesus' name, it is done. Thank you. Say, Jesus, Jesus. I love you. Do you love him? Oh, yes. Are you sure? Yes, daddy. I love him too. I love him. Man. How I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. He
Zeketeri and Lorobo Suko. I receive. Are you here? We are here, Daddy. Rise on your feet. Say, Lord. Lord. I thank you. I thank you. For all the testimonies. For all these testimonies. I've heard today. I heard today. This is evidence. This is evidence. That you are here. That you are here. In our midst. In our midst. And you are working. And you are working. In the lives. In the lives. Of your people. Of your people. And you are working. And you are working. In our lives. In our lives. Just clap your hands, begin to pray. Clap your hands, begin to pray. Clap your hands, and begin to pray. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Say oh Lord. Oh Lord. I'll be the next one. I'll be the next one. I'm the next one. I'm the next one. To testify. To testify. Pray, 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 pray. La do yoroga zika tayara bozeke. Le do yoroga zika. La ga zika tayara bozeke. La ibo do yoroga zika tayara bozeke. Zodi ka ulele tayara dori gata. La ga zika tayara bozeke. Ripa sendere woshata. La ziara ta. La do yoroga zika. La ga zika tayara bozeke. Zodi ka ulele tayara dori gata. La ibo do yoroga zika. La ga zika. Ripa <laughs> La gasiga ta yara bozeke ripa sendere woshata la diere to lo to yoro gasiga la gasiga ta yara bozeke ribo sendere woshata la diere to lo to yoro gasiga la gasiga ta yara bozeke le to yoro gasiga la ibo to yoro gasiga ta yara bozeke ripa sendere woshata raziele te le to yoro gasiga la gasiga ta yara bozeke zodi ka ulele ti ara thori gata la gasiga ta yara bozeke ripa sendere woshata la diere ta la gasiga ta yara bozeke zodi ka ulele ti ara thori gata la gasiga ta yara bozeke ripa sendere woshata la tu yoro gasiga la gasiga ta yara bozeke zodi ka ulele ti ara thori gata la gasiga ta yara bozeke la ibo to yoro gasiga la gasiga ta yara bozeke ripa sendere woshata la diere ta la gasiga ta yara bozeke Lodo yoro gasika, la gasika ta yara bozeke. Zodi ka ulele ti ara thori gata, la ibo to yoro gasika, la gasika ta yara bozeke. Ripa sendere woshata, la diara ta, la to yoro gasika, la gasika ta yara bozeke. Zodi ka ulele ti ara thori gata. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree and I declare. I receive. Receive your breakthrough today. I receive. Whatsoever has been fighting you. Yes. Say back to sender. Back to sender. Say back to sender. Back to sender. Say back to sender. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Back to sender. Back to sender. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
separated you from your brothers and your siblings to save him. Are you hearing me? Yes. He has separated you from your siblings and your brothers so that you should save him. I'm seeing the grace on your life. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm seeing the grace on your life. God wants you to save him. Can I go deeper? Go deeper, Daddy. Can I prophesy? Prophesy, Daddy. You have been wondering what's going on in your life. You have tried what other people do. But when you try them, you don't find satisfaction in those things. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. You don't enjoy them the way other people enjoy them. And then you've been wondering, what, what is it? It's because the hand of God is upon you. God has protected you from many dangerous situations because his hand is upon you. He wants you to save him. He wants you to work for him. He wants to use you. And today when I lay my hands on you, your life is going to be opened. You, go, you are going to receive uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. Favor which is not common, but what? Uncommon favor. God will begin to use you in small, small ways. But you have to remain faithful to him. Are you hearing me? Yes, Bob. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yeah. I'm seeing pastoral grace on you. <laughs> At the moment, God will begin to bring young people around you. Young people around you. He wants to begin to pastor those young people. Because the hand of God is upon you. Are you hearing me? Yes, I hear you, Father. Jesus' name. the same again. It is done. It is done. I receive. Are you here? We are here, Daddy. You can take your seats for shifting. Thank you so much. Exodus. The book of Exodus. Exodus. Chapter 1. I'll read from verse number 8. Exodus chapter 1. I'll read from verse number 8. Exodus chapter 1. From verse number 8. Here they are saying, Amen. 
Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass that when they, they are falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. And so get them up out of the land. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. I want you to read that verse together again. One, two, three, go. Can we read here? One, two, three, go. One more time. One more time. Okay. Today, I want to teach you something about who you are as a child of God. There are different types of anointings in the Bible. Which, if you look at it from a New Testament point of view, you are going to see it. It's there. The way Jesus was teaching the disciples, he mentions things there, which when you understand what they are, you begin to know that he's talking about different types of anointings. Are you hearing me? He's talking about different types of power. In some instances, he talked about power against demoniac forces. In some instances, he talked about power over demoniac forces. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. Power over and power against are two different types of power. Over is authority. Against is a force that pushes against something. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. So over is what? Authority. Against is something that is there to push, to resist. You're not hearing me. We're following that. In the same way when Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit, he talked about different dimensions of the Holy Spirit. He talked about the Holy Spirit being in you. He talked about the Holy Spirit being with you. Yes. He talked about the Holy Ghost being upon you. Yes. These are different dimensions. So there is the Holy Ghost in you. And then there's the Holy Ghost with you. you. And then there's the Holy Ghost upon you. Amen. Upon means the Holy Ghost is resting on you. He is not inside, but is where? On you. Yes. When we talk about the Holy Ghost in you, He is inside of you. Oh, yes. He has taken residence inside of you. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, Daddy. When we talk about the Holy Ghost with you, He is not on, He is not in, but He is where? With, with you. So these are all different dimensions of the Holy Spirit. So when it comes to power and anointing, there are also different types of anointing. And as a child of God, you need to begin to understand what type of anointing you need in a particular yes, situation. Yes, 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 yes. Because these anointings, they don't do the same things. They are different. Oh, yes. That's why when God was talking to Moses, he says, I am that I am. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. I am that I, I am. 
In other words, I'm a God of the present. Amen. We hear you, Daddy. You are not hearing me. Hear I'm you, a God of the what? Present. Whatsoever you are going to face in that present hour, yes. I am that I hour. am. Amen. I will not be what I was, but I am that I am, am. in the present situation. Amen. That's why when you look at your Bible in the Old Testament, they knew Jehovah God with the different names. Oh, yes. Because each name was a revelation Amen. of who God is in that situation. That's why when they were sick, they talked about Jehovah. Jehovah who? Rapha. Rapha. Because Jehovah Rapha is the healing God. In other words, in that moment when the sickness, God manifested himself to them as a healing God. So he said, I am Jehovah what? Rapha. Are you following me? We are following that. When they needed provision, God had to show himself as a God who provides for them. So they called him who? Jehovah Jireh as a provider. Oh, yes. He is the same God. But in that present moment, when they needed provision, God had to be a provider to them. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? We are here, man. But we thank our God because in the New Testament, we've been given a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, oh, every yes. knee should bow. Yes. Of things in heaven, yes. of things in earth, Hallelujah. of things under the earth. And that Hallelujah. every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God yes. the Father. Shout yes. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Are you here? Yes. So in other words, when you look at the name Jesus, when the Bible says a name which is above every name, yes. it means that name Jesus is above Jehovah Jireh. Yes, Daddy. Are you hearing me? Yes, It's Daddy. above Jehovah Nisi. Amen. It's above Jehovah Shama. Yes. It's above Jehovah Shalom. Yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, Daddy. The name Jesus encompasses all the names of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Daddy. You are not hearing me. We hear you, Daddy. Are you hearing me? Yes. So today we don't need to say, okay, now I'm facing sickness. Therefore, Jehovah Rapha appear. Uh -uh. We just say, in the name of Jesus, sickness I command you, come out and yes. go. Because the name Jesus is above every name. Hallelujah. Say, ah. Are you here? We are here. Daddy. So when we're talking about different anointings, you need to understand as a child of God what kind of anointing you need in a particular situation. I can go on and on and on the different types of anointings, but today I want to introduce you to a kind of anointing called the Rabba. Amen. Say Rabba. Rabba. Say Rabba. Rabba. Now Rabba anointing is a special kind of anointing. It is activated by trouble. Say trouble. trouble. Say trouble. Trouble. Trouble activates the rubber anointing. And many Christians, we do not understand this type of anointing. Because when we became born again, our thinking is that our life is going to be sweet, just so easy. Yes, hey, I'm a Christian. We do not understand that the day you became born again, you became a target of the devil. Oh, yes. We don't know that the day you came out of the devil's kingdom, got into the kingdom of God, the devil said, ah, I'm going to get you down. But listen to me, God already knew what the devil was planning. Hallelujah. Therefore, he gave you the rubber anointing. Yeah. Say, rubber anointing. I receive. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. Say rubber anointing. Rubber anointing. This is a special kind of anointing. It is only available to the children of God. Hallelujah. People of the world can never have rubber anointing. Oh, yes. Because this anointing is activated by trouble. Hallelujah. Say trouble. Trouble. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Be careful. Be careful. You may activate the rubber anointing. Activate the rubber anointing. 
Mm. You see, us as children of God, we need to understand the weapons God has given us. Our problem is we do not understand our weapons of warfare. Yes. Teach us, buddy. The Bible says, although we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not what? Carnal, but mighty through God. To the pulling down of every what? Strongholds. Casting down what? Imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, You've sir. got weapons of warfare. Yes. But we don't understand these weapons. So we just walk around. The devil hits you. Boom. Keep going. Boom. Ah. Going, <laughs> no brother, time is coming. You need to understand the weapons of warfare. Oh, yes. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. Yeah, when the enemy is coming with the planes bombing your area, you don't go there with your little guns, pa, 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 pa. they will finish you. When the enemy is in the air, go in the air, take him down in the air. Yes, yes. Are you hearing me? We hear you. When he's coming on land, face him on land. He's coming in the water, face him in the water. Yes. You need to understand what weapon to use in which circumstances. Yes. And today I want to give you a revelation of the rubber anointing. <laughs> yes. Woo! Say neighbor. Neighbor. Today. Today. I'll be dangerous. I'll be dangerous. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Say rubber. Rubber. So the Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare are not what? Cano, but mighty through God. So in other words, as a child of God, there's warfare that we are going to face. There's warfare that we are going through. Some of you today are going through different kinds of warfares. But you don't know what weapon to use in order to, in order to, to come out victorious out of your situation. So you just cry and pray prayer. You pray prayers to God, right? Yes, that. Yes, daddy. You prepare us to who? To God. Remember when Moses was on the Red Sea? He tried to pray. He tried. Go deeper, daddy. Can I go deeper? Go deeper. Zorati shativahedi karato. I receive. Let me show you something. Are you getting something? Very much. Exodus. Zetorito Vadushele Copranive. I receive. Chapter. Chapter what? Zotara to Vedushele Coprania. I receive. Exodus chapter should be fourteen. Exodus chapter fourteen. I want you to see. Verse number 13, 14, and 15. Exodus chapter 14 from verse number 13. Now, the background is the children of Israel, they've come to the Red Sea, and the armies of Pharaoh, they are closing in. Are you hearing me? Yes, the, come, the armies of Era what? Closing in. In front, there's the Red Sea. Here, mountain. There, mountain. Behind them, the enemy is coming. Pursuing them. Pressing hard on them. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, darling. Now, let's look at the Bible. Verse 13. One, two, three, go read.
14. Fifteen. Hallelujah. <laughs> you are not hearing me. We are hearing you, Daddy. Are you hearing me? Yes, Daddy. Are you hearing me? Yes, Daddy. There are there's two contradictions in those three verses. Let's go back to verse 13. What did Moses say? Stand still. What does stand still mean? Do not what? Do not what? Move. Go to verse number 15. One, two, three, go. Moses tells the people to what? Stand still. God says, no, 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 Moses, no. Tell the people to move what? Forward. He's telling them to stand still. Yes. And see the salvation of the Lord. God says, no, 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 no. It's not time to stand still. Tell the people to move what? Forward. You are not hearing me. We are hearing you, Daddy. You are not hearing me. We are following you. Daddy. Are you hearing me? Yes, Daddy. You see, this is where most of us, we miss it. We miss it. We are waiting for God. Can you see what he says? Stand still. Uh-huh. See the what? Salvation of the Lord. Verse number 14. 14. Aha. Uh -huh. What does he say? The Lord shall fight for you. You shall hold your peace. Wrong information. Wrong instruction. Number one, he told them to stand still. Yes. Am I right? You are right, daddy. Number two, he says, you just hold your peace. They will do what? Wrong information. God he says, hey, Moses, mm -hmm. tell the people to move what? Forward. Forward. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. <laughs> Say, I'm hearing. I'm hearing, Daddy. So I'm hearing. I'm hearing. And this is where most of us, we miss it. But because we are always assuming that God is keeping your help in heaven. Yes, Daddy. And then each time you need it, you have to ask. Each time you need it, you have to ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hasn't he given you the Holy Ghost inside of you? Why did he give you the Holy Spirit? His own spirit to dwell inside of you. Why did he give you the Holy Ghost? And why did you give you the anointing to, to be with you and abiding with you? Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, sir. So you've got something inside of you. Yes. You've got something upon you that you can begin to use. Yes. Don't just say, oh, I will just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. You need to begin to speak to the mountain in front of you. Mountain, I command you, get out of my way. Am yes. I talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. Ah, Moses says, stand still. Yes. God says, no, Moses, there's no time to stand still. Tell the people to move forward. forward. Uh, you're not hearing me. We hear you, Daddy. Are you hearing me? Yes, Daddy. Are you hearing me? Yes, Daddy. You see, when the enemy has put a barrier in front of you, don't make the mistake of standing still. Amen. Yes, Daddy. Keep moving forward. Amen. I said keep moving forward. Yes. I said keep moving forward. Yes. If he will not move away the barrier, jump over the barrier. Oh, yes. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. If you want to move the barrier, go around the barrier. If you want to move the barrier, break through the oh, barrier. Yes. Hallelujah. Hey. 
Say, hey. Hey. Why? So when you say, I am unstoppable, it doesn't mean that there will be no barriers in front of you. What makes you unstoppable is your ability to pray through oh, every yes, barrier. Yes, yes. Are you hearing me? We're hearing you. Don't are you hearing me? We are hearing so when you, you say I am unstoppable, it doesn't mean that there will be no barriers. There will be the ready sea in front of you. Don't stand this chance waiting for Jehovah God. No, look at what the Bible says. It says, oh, no, stand still. You are going to see this. That's religion. God it says, Moses, tell the people to move forward. Amen. <laughs> you are not hearing me. We are following daddy. Are you hearing me? We hear you daddy. Are you hearing me? Yes daddy. Look at verse number 16. Verse number 16. One, two, three, go. So God tells him, no, no, don't tell the people to stand still. Tell them to what? Move forward. But what? Lift your what? Your rod. Uh-huh. And stretch that hand over the sea. And what? Divide it. Oh, you're not hearing me. We're hearing you, daddy. God is talking to Moses. He says, Tell the people to move what? Forward. But lift thy up thy what? Rod. And stretch out thine hand over the sea. And what? Who was going to divide it? 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 You see, here is a battle between religion and revelation. This is a battle. Your religion is says God. Revelation is saying Moses. You are reading in the verse, you can see the Bible. God is talking to Moses. Yes. Sir. Are you hearing me? God, God himself is talking to who? To Moses. He says, who should lift up the hand? Moses. Who is going to divide it? Moses. You see, religion is saying, God, God. Amen. Revelation is saying, who? Moses. Moses. This is the change that most of us we have. We read our Bibles. Huh? Yes. We see it. But our heads, they say God. They say this. They say that. Are you hearing me, somebody? We hear you, daddy. You see, when God has given you the power, he wants you to begin to use it. Oh, yes. Uh, you're not hearing me. We hear you, He daddy. wants you to begin to what? To use it. use it. When God has anointed, you begin to use the anointing for whatever yes. you're looking for. Yes. Because the anointing comes for a reason. Oh, it's yes. not there to decorate you or oh, make yes. you feel goosebumps. Ah, it is yes. there for you to begin to use the anointing. Yes. I'm not talking to somebody right here. Yes, daddy. Hey. Hey. So God is talking to Moses. Don't tell the people to stand still. Tell them to go forward. Oh. But what did you have in your hand, Moses? I've got a rod. Lift up your rod. Yes. Hey, what else? Lift up your hand. Yes. What else? Divide it. Yes. Say rabba. Rabba. Say rabba. Rabba. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Am I Jesus. talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. So he says, divide it. And the people shall go on a dry ground. Yes. If Moses was going to stand there, mm -hmm. begin to pray in tongues, they were going to die in the presence of Almighty God. Are you hearing me? We are hearing you, Daddy. Are you hearing me? We are hearing you, Daddy. Where do you think God is when people are dying? 
They die in his presence. Go deeper, Daddy. Can I go deeper? Go deeper, Daddy. You see, the Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pouring down of souls, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. In other words, there is warfare to be fought. And you need every weapon that God can give you. And one of those weapons is called Rabba. Say Rabba. Rabba. It's called Rabba anointing. So the Bible says when the children of Israel were in Egypt, there came an evil king. Who didn't know anything about Joseph? Because anybody, any king who came, who, who knew about Joseph, he respected the children of Israel. But this new king didn't know anything about Joseph. So the Bible says, when he rose into power, he said, hey, this group, there are too many. And they are stronger than us. Let's deal wisely with them. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. Because one day, if an enemy comes, starts fighting us, they may join the enemy and fight us. And then they can go out of Egypt. Let's deal wisely with them. So the Bible says, the Pharaoh and his people began oppressing them. Say oppressing them. Oppressing them. Say oppressing them. Oppressing them. And now something crazy happened. The more they oppressed them, the more they. Uh, you are not hearing me. You are not hearing me. We are following daddy. Are you following me? Yes daddy. Exodus chapter 1. Exodus chapter 1 verse number 12. Are you here? We are here, Daddy. Exodus 1 12. 1, 2, 3, go, read. One more time. The more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. The more they afflicted them, the more. How do you stop the multiplication and the growing? Stop afflicting them. Stop the affliction. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. You stop the affliction, there will be no what? Multiplication. There will be no what? Growth. But as long as you put affliction there, the automatic result is multiplication yes. and growth. Yes. So Pharaoh said, let us deal wisely. In other words, let us be wise. Mm -hmm. By afflicting them. You see now. The Bible says God takes the wise things that people call wise. Yes. Makes foolish out of them. Amen. He takes what people think is foolish. And makes it what? Wise. In order to confound the wisdom of the world. That was the wisdom of the world. Let's afflict God's people. When we afflict them they will shrink and become small. 
But God he says, no, no, no. In heaven, that's not how things work. In heaven, you afflict. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Power. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. You need to begin to understand the operations of the realm of the spirit. You need to understand. And these are the weapons God has given you. Oh, yes. That whenever you are going through an affliction. Yes. It is not time to cry. Oh, yes. Because there is an anointing about you and in you. Uh -huh. Which is activated by affliction. Yes. Whenever people are oppressing you, it's yes. not time to cry and to whine and to stop Hallelujah. coming to church. Because you know there is an anointing in you. Yes. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, that is. Hallelujah. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Hey. Hey. Uh -huh. Power. You are not hearing me. We are hearing you. You are daddy. not hearing me. We are hearing you. Some daddy. of you, you begin to cry, Papa, at my job. They don't like me. You know, they, they mistreat me. But hey, hey. listen to me today. Yes. There is something about you. Oh, there is yes. an anointing called the rubber anointing. Yes. The more they oppress you, yes. the more you go higher. Oh, the more yes. they try to stop you, yes. the more you go forward. Oh, I'm yes. not talking to somebody right here. Yes, study. Say, hey, hey, I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey. Hey. You see, the biggest mistake the devil can do to a child of God is to say, is to say you will not cross here. The moment he says you will not cross here, he has activated an anointing inside of you. That anointing that breaks every barrier. That anointing which breaks every yes. limitation. Yes. That anointing yes. which crosses every boundary. Yes. It is activated. Receive oh, yes. it. Receive. Hallelujah. You can't tell me you can't do this thing. The moment you said you can't, that moment you activated an anointing in me. The moment you say you are going to fail, you activate an anointing in me. That anointing is going to rise up and make me to rise higher than the person speaking. Yes. Receive your miracle. Receive. Hey. Hey. Are you here, somebody? We are here, daddy. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. I'm dangerous. I am dangerous. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, the more they afflicted them, yes. the more they multiply right. and grow. grow. You are not hearing me. We are following this is the month of what? Breaking out and taking over. Can I prophesy to you today? Prophesy Can I prophesy to you today? For that affliction that you went through. Yes. For that trouble that you went through. Yes. For that sickness that attacked your body. Yes. I prophesy today. Multiplication and the growth. Hallelujah. <laughs> Say hey. Hey. Uh -huh. Marabasi ketiando. I receive. I receive. Power. For the weapons are not for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. In other words, we confuse the enemy. We yes. confound the enemy. Oh, when yes. he wants us to go down, we begin to go up. Oh, yes. When he wants us to be small, we begin to get bigger. Yes. The enemy gets confused. He can't understand who we are. Oh, he can't yes. understand what we are doing. Oh, he yes. can't understand where we are going. Oh, That's, yes. who we are. That's who we are. That's who we are. That's who we are. Receive your miracle. Yes. You are not hearing me. We are following that. You are not hearing me. We are hearing you, Most daddy. of us, we know one thing. We only know crying. When things are going tough, we know what? Crying. But I want you to change your prayer today. That there will be no more tears. Oh, yes. When I'm going through affliction, yes. I begin to pray a different kind of prayer. Yes. I'll say the rubber anointing begin ah. to work in me. The rubber anointing begin to work in me. The rubber anointing begin to work in yes. me. It is time for multiplication. Yes. It is time for growth. It is time to go higher. Hallelujah. Receive your miracle. Receive. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. 
Say, say I receive. I receive. Say I receive. I receive. Say I receive. Say Rabba. Anointing. Now, are you here? We are here, Daddy. Are you sure? Yes, Daddy. Watch this. Give me the verse again. Give me the verse again. No. Exodus 1.12. Give me the verse again. Let me show you something. But the more they afflicted them, the more they rubber. Hallelujah. Are you here? We are here, Daddy. The more they afflicted them, the more they rubber. We are taking off. And do you know what it means to grow? Do you know what it means? Do you know what it means? So the more they afflicted them, the more they rubber and break out. Amen. Hallelujah. That word there, grow, means to what? Break out. It means to take over. Because if you are growing, it means you begin to take over some territory. Oh, yes. You need more room. Oh, yes. Say neighbor. Neighbor. I need more room. I need more room. I need more space. I need more space. I am taking over. I am taking over. I am taking over. I am taking over. I don't care. I don't care. Who is there? Who is there? I am taking over. I am taking over. I need more room. I need more room. I need more space. More space. Receive it. So, the word multiplied there yes, daddy. in Hebrew, it's a rubber. Hallelujah. Rubber. 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 Amen. Say rubber. Rubber. And it was Pharaoh's own making. It was his own fault. He should have left them to be free. Yes. Are you hearing me? We are hearing. And you see, the devil, the devil yes, doesn't get it. The only way you, are, you can kill a Christian is to give him freedom. Yes, daddy. Are you following me? We are following daddy. Christians don't do well where there's freedom. Mm -hmm. You are right, daddy. Anywhere you oppress a Christian, Christianity grows. The reason why Christianity is dying in the Western world is because of freedom. 100%. Anywhere you oppress a Christian, Christianity grows. Yes. Are you following me? We are following that. Anywhere there's poverty, Christianity grows. Amen. Anywhere there's oppression, Christianity grows. Oh, amen. Anywhere there's freedom, Christianity dies. Because of the rubber yes. anointing. Are you hearing me? We are hearing you, Daddy. And that's what's killing Christianity in the Western world. The devil has given them what? But we are not ignorant of these things. Oh, yes. We understand these things. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? We hear you, Are you hearing me, somebody? We hear you, Daddy. We know there is a rubber anointing available for us. Oh, yes. The Bible says the more they were afflicted, yes. the more they what? Multiplied and grew. Amen. Some of you, some of you, just coming here to streams, people are laughing at you. Yes, you are right, Daddy. Is that true? 100%. But the more they are laughing at you, yes. the more you are multiplying oh, yes. and growing. Receive your miracle. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> say hey. Hey. Say hey. Hey. You see, what they are thinking is they are thinking you will be going what? Yeah. Not here. Here we know Raba anointing. Oh yes. Here we understand the Raba anointing. Oh yes. The mistake you make is to to laugh at us, to look down upon us. Because the more you look down upon us, the more we go high. Oh yes. And high. high. And, and high. And high. And high. And Receive your miracle. Say I receive. I receive. We are going to pray in a moment. Activating the rubber anointing. Oh yes. Because some of you are going through different kinds of afflictions. The devil has been afflicting you with your fi financial difficulties. Yes. An affliction from what? Finances. Yes. Ah, you are not hearing me. Do something daddy. You are not hearing me. We are following you daddy. Because after the prayer today. Yes. After activating the rubber anointing today. Yes daddy. The devil is going to be confused. Oh yes. Because you are going to begin to multiply. Yes. You are going to begin to multiply. Uh -huh. You are going to begin to multiply. Yes. You are going to begin to multiply. You are going to begin to multiply. Yes. You are going to begin to multiply. You are going to begin to multiply. I'm not talking to someone right here. Yes. Receive your miracle. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm. Uh. Say rubber anointing. Rubber anointing. Power. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. When the enemy attacks you with a, with a small pistol. Yes. Do, 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 do. You say, hey, devil, wait a minute. I've got a machine gun. Oh, yes. I've got a machine gun, devil. Yes. I'm going to take you down. Yes. I'm going to mow you down. Yes. I'm going to take my machine gun. Yes. Ka -ka 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 <laughs> Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. The devil has been on this game for too long. <laughs> enough is enough. Yes. Say enough is enough. 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 For every affliction. Every affliction. In my finances. In my finances. In my health. In my health. In my career. In my career. I prophesy. I prophesy. I prophesy. I prophesy. Rabbi. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yes, daddy. When you pray to God and when God wants to answer your prayer, yes, daddy. he knows how to answer it. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. So when they said his name is Jehovah Rapha, yes. it means God displayed the healing part of himself. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. He didn't display the providing part. He displayed the what? Healing part. Because the people needed what? Healing. When they wanted peace, yes, God displayed the peace part of him, which is shalom. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. Because they needed what? Peace. They needed God to be God what? Shalom unto them. When they needed provision, God yes. had to appear to them as Jehovah Jireh, the provider. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. When they needed righteousness, God had to appear to them as Jehovah Tzedukeno. Who is our what? Righteousness. When they were facing a battle and a war, God appeared to them as a God of war. Who is Jehovah Nisim. Therefore, he was their banner. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. Am I talking to somebody right yes, here? Yes, daddy. And today... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, say neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Today. Today. I'm activating. I'm activating. The rubber anointing. The rubber anointing. The rubber anointing. The rubber anointing. It's time to multiply. It's time to multiply. And grow. And grow. Am I talking to somebody right here? Yes, daddy. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> we are taking over. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. You see, people in Townsville. Yes. For so many years, they were laughing at me. What are you doing with your small number of people? This African church. 
What are you doing with a small number of people? This African church. But me, I said, each time you speak, you activate something. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Each time you point a finger, you activate something. Oh, yes. Each time you look down upon me, yes. you activate something. Oh, yes. The rubber yes. anointing. I receive. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Some of you, your bosses look down upon you at work. Yes. Can I prophesy to you? Prophesy, daddy. Can I prophesy to you? Prophesy, daddy. You are going to multiply. I receive. And you are going to grow. I receive. And get growing. I receive. And get growing. I receive. Until you are bigger than your boss. I receive. Take it. I receive. Power. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Now Let the Yoruba Zika Tayarabo Zeke Ribas and the Rivo Shatta. Laga Zika Tayarabo Zeke. Let the Yoruba Zika. Laibo to Yoruba Zika Tayarabo Zeke. Ripa sendere wo shata la to yoroga sika la gasika ta yara bo seke la ibo to yoroga sika la siara ta la to yoroga sika la gasika ta yara bo seke zodika ule la tiara to rika ta yara bo seke ripa sendere wo shata la gasika ta yara bo seke le to yoroga sika la gasika ta yara bo seke la ibo to yoroga sika la siara la ta le to yoroga sika la gasika ta yara bo seke zodika ule la tiara to rika ta la ibo to yoroga sika la gasika ta yara bo seke ripa sendere wo shata la siara ta le to yoroga sika la gasika ta yara bo seke la ibo to yoroga sika la siara ta la gasika ta yara bo seke zodika ule la tiara to Laibo to Yoroga Sika, Laga Sika to Yarabo Seke, Ripa Sendere Oshata, La Sierra, Laga Sika to Yarabo Seke, Laibo to Yoroga Sika, Laga Sika to Yarabo Seke. Jesus, name we pray. Amen. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Remain standing. Remain standing. We are praying. Romans 8, 28. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Romans 8, 28. 1, 2, 3, go. I want you to read together loud and clear. One, two, three, go. One more time. Can you see the rubber anointing? things it doesn't matter whatever it is all things work together for good to them that love God oh, yes. to them what they called according to his what Amen. purpose so in other words when the enemy is busy shooting at you trying to pull you down that power trying to bring you down yes. that power works to the opposite oh yes it yes, works that's... to the opposite. Oh, yes. Instead of you going down, you begin to go higher. Yep. And higher. And higher. And higher. That's the rubber anointing. Receive. Receive it. Receive. Receive it. Receive. Are you ready? We are ready, Daddy. Say, Oh Lord. Thank you. Thank you. For the rubber anointing. For the rubber anointing. Now I know. Now I know. That was so ever. That was so ever. The enemy. The enemy. Meant for evil. Meant for evil. I can turn it around. I can turn it around. To work for my good. Because of the rubber anointing. Because of the rubber anointing. Pray, 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 pray. Let the yoroga zika ta yarabo zeke. Let the yoroga zika. 
la gaze kata yara bose ke ripa sendere oshata la ziarata la to yoro gaze ka la gaze kata yara bose ke zodi kaulele tiara dori kata yara bose ke ripa sendere oshata la ziarata la to yoro gaze ka la gaze kata yara bose ke la ibo to yoro gaze ka la ziarata la gaze kata yara bose ke zodi kaulele tiara dori kata la ibo to yoro gaze ka la gaze kata yara bose ke lo to yoro gaze ka la gaze Sikata yara boseke, zodi kaulele tiara dori kata, la gaze kata yara boseke, ripa sendere washata, la ziarata, la gaze kata yara boseke, la iboto yoro gaze ka, la gaze kata yara boseke, zodi kaulele tiara dori kata, la gaze kata yara boseke, ripa sendere washata, la tiarata, la to yoro gaze ka, la gaze kata yara boseke, la iboto yoro gaze ka, la ziarata, la to yoro gaze ka, la gaze Zikata yara boseke, la iboto yoro gazika, la tiarata, la gazikata yara boseke, zodi kaulele tiara dori gata, la iboto yoro gazikata yara boseke, ripa sendere washata, la ziarata, la to yoro gazika, la gazikata yara boseke. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Listen, listen. Where the devil put a barrier. Yes, Lord. Where the enemy put a limitation, yes. I prophesy to you. I receive. Let that limitation activate the rubber anointing. I receive. Let that barrier oh, yes. activate the rubber anointing. I receive. Are you hearing me? Yes, daddy. Where they put a ceiling for you yes. that you can never go beyond this level. Mm -hmm. Can I break that ceiling for you? Break it, daddy. Can I break the ceiling for break you? Break it, daddy. But the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. If I be the anointed son of Major oh, One, yes. I decree and I declare. I receive. Let every ceiling be broken in your life. I receive. Let every ceiling be broken in your life. I receive. Let every ceiling be broken in your life. I receive. Receive it. Say, hey, hey, say neighbor, neighbor, hey, hey. Some of you are in business. Yes. Can I release your business today? Release it, daddy. Can I release your business today? Release it, daddy. I prophesy, activating. The rubber anointing in your business, in your career, in your business, in your career, receive it. Say neighbor, neighbor, my business, my business. <laughs> yes, you are not hearing me. We are following daddy. Let me show you the rubber anointing. Yes. Are you ready? We are ready, Daddy. I don't know whether you are hearing me or you are following we or you are, are being hearing, followed. Daddy. Are you following? We are following, Daddy. Or you are being followed? We are following, Daddy. You are following? Yes, Daddy. Zokaro Shepedi Avaha. I receive. There's so much happening in my spirit now. I connect. Exodus chapter 7. Exodus chapter 7. Let's read from verse number 8. It's 8 to 12. Exodus chapter 7, verses 8 to 12. 
One, two, three, go. Uh huh, continue. Uh-huh, 11. Verse 12. The way you are reading, the way you are reading. Read verse number 12 one more time. As if you know what you are talking about. Can you see the rub anointing? Oh, yes. They tried and replicated what Aaron and Moses was doing. But, say but. But. The Bible says Aaron's rod swallowed up, oh, yes. took over. Yes. You are not hearing me. We are it hearing. took over. Yes. Are you hearing me? We are hearing. You people were in business. Can I prophesy to you? Prophesy, daddy. Let your business take over your neighbor's I business. Receive. Even if your neighbor's business is bigger than yours, mm -hmm. I prophesy today. I take over! I receive. Take over! I receive. Take over! I receive. You may be in a position which is small, but there's a neighbor here who has got a bigger position yes. in your work, in your career, in your office. As long as you are under the influence of my voice today, oh, yes. I prophesy. I receive. anointing. I receive. anointing. I receive. anointing. I receive. Go and take over. I receive. In Jesus' name. I receive. Aha. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Hey. Hey. I need space, neighbor. neighbor. I am multiplying. I am multiplying. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. I need space. I need to expand my garage. I need because I see another car. <laughs> and then another one. I need another one. Hey, we are taking over. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Together for Jesus, somebody. 
Are you here? We are here, Daddy. Take your offering. Take your offering. Take your offering. Lift it high. Lift it high. Lift it high. Wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it. Wave it in the anointing. Wave it in the anointing. Wave it in the anointing. Say today, by my giving, I activate. I am activate. The rubber. The rubber. Anointing, anointing in my finances, in my finances, in my bank account, in my bank account, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The more the enemy, the more the enemy, the more the enemy tries, tries to constrain, to constrain my finances, my finances. The more they will multiply, they will multiply in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Say, I speak, I speak multiplication, multiplication and the growth and growth. In my finances. In my finances. In the name of Jesus. 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 It is done. Thank you. Hallelujah. Somebody shout! Hey! Hey! Woo! Hey! Say neighbor! Neighbor! Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say because of time. Because of time. Stop right there. Oh, no. Oh. Huh? Oh. How no. about time today? Are you sure? You two at the back there. Can I prophesy to you? Yes. Husband, is it husband and wife or? Yes. yes. Husband and wife. Yes. Lady. As I was standing here, 
the Lord brought it to my attention. I don't know your circumstances at the moment, but the Lord said I'm releasing a job in that family. So I don't know your circumstances at the moment. Are you working? Are you doing what? I'm working. You're working. And yourself? I'm just a staying home dad. You're just a staying home dad. But you want to work? Yeah, I do. Um, um, right now she's, uh, she's doing studying and um, I'm working and I'm looking after the kids at home. And then we'll, later on then we exchange. Mm. Basora di shevehe. I receive. Parute ke sova du shere ko prania. I receive. The Lord is raising a job in your family. I receive. Are you hearing me? I receive. The Lord is raising what? A job. A job in your what? Family. Family. You are coming back with a big testimony. I receive. This will be a miracle job. Thank you. I receive. Are you hearing me? They're coming back with a big testimony. That is the grace. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take the grace. Jesus' name. It is done. Take the grace. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release it. It is done. They're coming back with a big testimony. Lady. As I was standing here, you were there. The Lord was telling me that there's someone connected to you who needs healing. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. That's correct. Yeah. Who is it? Prophetic confusion. Oh, yes. Just a lot of things. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm sick. I have diabetes. Yourself, you are sick as well. Yeah. You have got diabetes. Yes. And blood pressure. So you are forgetting. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Healing has come to this family. Amen. Not only you, but also there are people connected to you who need healing. Yeah? You know what I'm talking about. Do something, Daddy. When the power of God hits your family. So, are you working? Um, I suffered to start the job last week, and on Saturday I have Daddy, and I didn't go to work on Monday, so I'm going to start tomorrow. Is this starting a new job? Or yes. You're starting tomorrow? Yeah. It's healing into your life. That's why I call you Yahweh.
was taken back to your village where you came from. And I was saying that your family has been affected a lot. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. Your family has been affected a lot. The other thing I was seeing in that village is witchcraft. Mm -hmm. You understand witchcraft? Mm -hmm. It has affected your family. Okay. But God is going to deliver your family today. God is going to set you free. Amen. God is going to heal not only you, but also people connected to you who are looking for healing. Amen. Today is your day. Amen. That's it. Jesus, my name. Loose! Let them go. I set free the whole family today. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every person connected to her, let them be healed right now. Let them receive their miracle now. Let them receive their miracle now. I cleanse your blood today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your blood be cleansed of every sickness and every disease. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare no more high blood pressure today. No more diabetes in your blood system today. In Jesus' mighty name, I set you free. I break every power of witchcraft that has affected your family. I set them free. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. It is done. I would like to release Adelaide. I like to release Adelaide. Thank you so much for connecting live today. It was such an amazing service. Sydney, say hello to Adelaide. That's um, a new venue for the Adelaide Church. Very beautiful venue. As you can see, with our physical eyes, oh, yes. there's a small number there. But when you see with the eyes of the spirit, yes. I'm hey, seeing hey. a big church there. Yeah. I'm seeing a big church. I'm seeing a big church in Adelaide. Yes. Multiplying and taking over. Oh, Multiplying yes. and taking over. Oh, the yes. rubber anointing. That is oh, the rubber yes. anointing. Adelaide. That is yeah. the rubber anointing. Turkey! Hey. Thank you so much for connecting live. And I'm releasing you now. You can finish off your service. Power. I love you. I'd like also to release those who are connected live to this broadcast. Wherever you are. Wherever you're connected live from. Across Australia. Across Asia Pacific region. This is Prophet Gerard Yasul. The anointed son of Major One. Major Prophet Shepard Bushiri. I love you. And shalom.